we got the whole gang with us here uh, you seen on the last episode where we did the bumper if you uh watch that if you haven't go ahead and watch that little video uh the reason we built this bumper on the bug is so we can pull our go-karts and in this case it'll be the rubbing tub but what we're going to do is just a basic square frame uh an inch and a half tubing and then come back with some smaller tubing like i think i got three quarter or see if one inch works depending on how many sticks i got and we're just going to make a basic box frame around uh just wheel on each side not no axle or nothing we're just gonna weld the bolt to the frame i mean it's not gonna be too heavy it'd be okay then here we're probably gonna come up with like a mini gooseneck deal uh just depends on how much metal i have all in all because i'm uh, not gonna go to the metal shop get metal so we're just using what we have so we will get started on that and hope you enjoy it Okay, so you see what we got here is the metal we'll be using. Um, hopefully I have enough. Uh, we got the sides and we got the back. So I put the front piece in with the back to see how much I needed. So that's pretty much even cut. I'll just uh, measure that, cut the front one just like the back and whatever we have left of this stick, I will use for the uh, the neck of the trailer or whatever you want to call it uh if i have enough i'm gonna kind of raise it up probably so depending on the arch and angle and when i mount them tires of how high it's going to be so we have everything we need so we're just going to move under the back porch where the wheeling machine is the concrete's pretty level so i mean this is just a little trailer you don't have to be real real level so so we'll start boxing everything in, welding everything up, and bring it back over here, getting a good look, test fitting, and go from there. Okay, so we have frame boxed in. Uh, got the bolts on the wheels welded. I'm gonna come back and uh, put some more support. That way they won't uh, camber, negative camber, positive camber, whatever, but more likely negative camber, where it's just the wheel tilt inward. Uh, Got it all welded up on all four corners. I'm gonna come back with the one inch tubing. Probably do four braces on the inside and cap the ends. Then we will go bring it to the bug and mock up everything for the bumper. And then weld everything back up. Now I might put might do like a dual wheel or like a tandem axle or whatever but i'm gonna probably do two wheels later on each side just depends on how it supports it and how strong it'll be uh but we had six foot so i went ahead and put them in at three foot the wheels and after i do all of this i'm going to come back and put wood over top of it probably some like one by sixes or something uh, burn it and stain it. We'll give it a good look. But yeah, it's coming together. So now we will measure everything, cut for the inside braces on the one inch tubing, and go from there.
Okay, so ran out of welding wire and it is Saturday and stores closed, so can't weld no more. We just have to wait till Monday when the store opens back up to go get some more wire. But this is where we're at. Uh, went ahead and started putting some gussets in. Why well, I really don't know because I'm gonna come back with flat bar, top and bottom on both sides. Whenever I put the boards on, that way it won't uh bow and bend and stuff with the weather and i gotta come back and weld the bottoms of the one inch then eventually bring it to the car and get everything ready for uh that piece but all in all this is where we're at so kind of wanted to get a little bit done but you know things happen gotta get more wire so we just gotta wait till Monday and we'll see y'all then. Okay, it's a new day, Monday. We went and got some more wire because we ran out. All that's put in, ready to go. Uh, show you what we got. See, we're gonna weld one inch on the bottom side, get that all done. And we got some flat bar. Uh, I'm gonna put two on the bottom, on the inside right here and right there. That way when we put the boards on, it'll set flat on there. I'm gonna weld that in. Then come back, this is our boards. And we're gonna put them on, test fit them. Uh, we still gotta cap off the ends. I've got metal right here. So I'm gonna cut that, put it on there. Put the wheels on. Uh, oh yeah, we got to do the neck of the trailer. So I think I got an idea of what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and do all that and get all them pieces. And till then, it's a pallet cart. We'll move on. Who wants to ride? But until then, we are gonna put this in time lapse and get the rock and the roll. Well, we got a little ahead of ourselves. GoPro died on us last night, so we went ahead and tried to knock out more, most of what we could. Uh, we're on a time crunch with this. So, this is what we got. Mulan approved. Uh, we went ahead and burnt the wood. I'm gonna come back and stain it, but it is treated. Uh, came through, got everything painted up, everything welded on, hooked in, went ahead and put some flat stock over top of the boards kind of like a regular trailer on this, uh, the two corners in the middle I just did big self tapping screws to go into the one inch tubing on the bottom uh, I mean it is pretty low in the back which means it'll be okay uh, I can go ahead and put bigger tires on it later these are not staying on here I am going to do a little cock a doodle doo to you too uh, I'm going to do a live axle underneath it with some uh, pillow collars to make it stronger. You know, uh, this is all I had. Just the bolt and stuff and these tires just sitting around, so I just went ahead and threw them on. I mean, they're just to play around with, have fun for now. Uh, I will come back probably with golf cart tires, get some uh, hub adapters to go in on that live axle. So that'll make that better. But that is our trailer. I think the doggos are gonna love it when we ride around the yard and they're gonna want to get on the back. But uh yep, we got 
everything pretty much done it looks pretty good so that's our little trailer so now i'm going to get one of our go-karts and just put on it see what it looks like <coughs> so Okay, we got one of our uh, go-karts, which is the pallet cart. So we're just going to, oh, it's a little heavy for a pallet. Let's go put it on, see what she looks like. I do like it like this, it's low back end, but once we do bigger tires, it'll pick up on itself. So, Crush my phone so we'll get it out of there and put this little angle iron back on there. Hello, Sam. Uh, uh. There we go. Now, what you think, Mulan? You like it? Or you want to go ride? Now, I am going to come back with some. Uh, hinges or something either put hinges or drill holes i'll probably come back with hinges if i can find some that way we can strap stuff down but that looks good a pallet on <laughs> a wood frame yeah that's that does that so now we can ride around haul around our go-karts to show on our trailer But, yep, that would be it for this video. Uh, so thank y'all for tuning in. And uh, we'll see y'all in the next video of what we're going to do with the trailer and probably some other little things. Uh, but yeah, thank y'all for watching. And go ahead, like, and subscribe. And keep up with the builds of what we got coming up. Uh, we'll see y'all later. Thank y'all.